Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Flavio Palumbo with 1,361 rating versus Roberto Alt with 1,201 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. And we're going to see Roberto when the rock, paper, scissors shoot, so he's going to get to the side. And we got 40 versus 42, and he's going to go first. Opening hand is Nib, Nian, Roshi, Chinglong, Foolish Goods. So one hand trap going second, and then he has Gamma, Rocket Synchron, Quick Launch, Recharger, Chaos Space. Okay, so this hand is uh, pretty good, and even if he was going second, he'd have a, a high impact hand trap. He's going to activate Chaos Space, discard Rocket Synchron, add White Dragon. And then banish Rocket Synchron, bring out White Dragon, go in the Striker, you gotta get those effects, add Boot, and then add Black Dragon, banish White, bring out Black, Chaos Space to put White to the bottom, and then draw Saferd. Ooh, has Saferd plus like Chaos Space in like the you know opening hand. He did draw that, but not bad. Then turn those two into seal. I've seen a lot, a lot of people just going hard in the seal like this and playing multiples. It would not surprise me if he was playing two. He's going to get Black Dragon to add white and then summon Safer to effect to get rid of white. I'm just going to add the Rocket Tracer from deck. Then Quick Launch to bring out Rocket Tracer from deck. Make LP, make Striker Dragon, and activate LP effect. He's going to chain Nib to that. So then he's going to get Seal Summon, Token Summon. Seal, bring out Brotar. Brotar effect, discard Gamma, add Levianir. Then banish some Darks. Bring out the levy effect. He's going to roll that dice. And he's going to smack. Let's guess. Mm. Uh, let, let's go with a. Uh, let's go with a Roshi hit. Wow. I really wanted to go with the Foolish Burial Goods too. And I was like nah. It's, it's got to hit Roshi. Close. Boot. Bring out Tracer and Recharger from hand. Then go in the Needle Fiber, Needle Effect, bring out Rocket Synchron. He's playing multiple Rocket Synchron. That's interesting. Make Striker, and then Pisty, then Pisty Effect that'll bring out Tracer from the Banished. Turn 4 in the Skull Dread Effect. What does he draw? Ravine, okay, so he is playing Romulus. Uh, I mean, just probably keep this. Definitely, like, not Ravine. Maybe Nib. And he's going to put Nib back. Safer, add Levy. And then he's going to banish three, summon out Levy. Turn those two in the seal. C, playing multiple, still ending on it through Nib. Tracer, pop boot. Said, my bad, no targets. Wow. So, like, all the targets are really just, like, rocket synchrons? That that actually is, like, really interesting. World Legacy, bring out Recharger. Make the Chaos Ruler, then that effect. Mills, gonna get knocked out of hand. Chaos Space to Grave. I mean, he could Striker, Recharger, Tracer, Quad, Boral, Pop, Savage. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Yeah, Recharger and the Tracer. Quad, Boral, Pop, Savage. All right. Yeah, I mean, that definitely works. Ending on Savage Seal through Nib with like a couple graveyard follow-up cards.
And like boot on board follow up, seal follow up, draw city, battle phase, attack the seal, and then seal bounce world legacy, and then bring out chamber. Oh my gosh, chamber add trap. So many follow ups. So many follow ups. Uh, choose the well, yeah, because if you attack that, then like Brotar comes out, discards trap, and like just more follow ups come through that. Uh, city bring out Chuchi. Let's that go through. Kind of weird because like if he brought out Chinglong, he'd be forced to negate Chinglong, and then it would be on board to target Chinglong effect. Negate Savage, and Savage negate the effect. Roshi effect. Send Chinglong, bring itself out. Chinglong, add Lulu, discard Nian. Then activate Lulu effect. Targeting Chuchi, send Chinglong, add Kirin. Wow, that's actually a really good game, because he's just going to VFD now. And then he wins. He can, like... A Vermilion pop and then VFD and that like secures the game. Or like Choo Chi pop VFD and that secures the game. Double Foolish, bring out Kieran. Choo Chi effect, shuffle back two. And that's going to pop the Savage. And then Brotar. No effect. You know, it's definitely kind of weird when you think about it. Like, why didn't he beat over this if he was, like, for sure going to be popping Savage this turn? Like, this should have been off. Well, ah, nah, you'd want to leave that on board if you're popping Savage. That way you can play around, like, a top deck Gamma. Because, like, the only way you lose here is if you get sacked by, like, a top deck Gamma or something crazy. It's gonna go into a Shen Shen. Chu Chi lower the level, go in the cloud. Bring out Shen Shen. Like. Why was it done like this? I mean, if he like, really wanted to, he. Could have just like Shen Shen on board, like Nian was a tuner, this is a non-tuner, like go in the croc, get a free draw. Uh, there's definitely like a few different things he could have done there. I mean he still ends with like a Choo Chi pop and a VFD, so like it's it still just wins in the game. Standby VFD called Dark. Links off into Romulus, activate boot effect. That'll bring out Recharger and Tracer. Kind of surprising to bring out Rocket Synchron over this because if Shen Shen comes out, this will get banished. But then again, it doesn't really matter. Hey, hey you love to see it. You love to see it. He, he caught it too. He caught it. But again, it, it's not really going to matter. Also, like, bouncing this to hand would be better because then, like, you can summon back. Yeah. Draw City. Ching Long, add Lulu, discard City, and then Lulu effect. Sen Chu Chi, add Roshi. Bring itself out. Nian, bring itself out. Turn those into Vermilion. And then Vermilion effect. That's going to pop the Dragon Maid and then chain it on Romulus and Vermilion. It's going to chain Chuchi effect. And that will pop the Romulus and he's just going to admit defeat. So I had the chance of keeping Nib with Skull Dread. And then chose not to. But thought I had one Tracer target left. Yeah, that uh, that sucks. Probably didn't realize that like, the one rocket synchron was banished from like the chaos space that was done earlier. But game two, the opening hand is Droll, City, Nib, Ash, Neon. So going second, I mean, plenty of hand traps, nothing to start him off the next turn. 
And they have Levy, Quick Launch, Black Metal, Red Eyes Driver. Wow. Uh, I mean, not what you want to see. Normal, Link Off, Make Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon Effect to add Boot. Then Drop Stroll, so now he knows Boot and Red Eyes in hand. Summon out Red Eyes, use that effect. That'll bring out Black Metal. Turn those into a seal, activate quick launch, bring out tracer, activate boot, tracer pop boot, bring out recharger, make LP, turn tracer into striker dragon, LP effect, he's going to chain nib to that, tribute everything, bring itself out, give him a token, and then seal effect. That'll summon out Tracer from deck. Banish 3. It's bringing out Levy. Levy effect. Alright, so what does he hit here? Hits Nian. That's not bad. Go in the quad. Quad effect. Pop. Bring itself out. Like Bring those out. Make Savage. I've seen a lot of people using quad in this deck. Like, most people have switched to quad in this deck. Which is really good, because I've always really liked this card. Savage, equip the quad. Pass play. Draws Kieran. Just go battle phase, banish Skaldred from extra deck. <laughs> he said misclick. Uh, Nib attack token, pass turn, draw world legacy guard dragon, then activate, which brings out recharger, go into striker dragon, then striker dragon effect, pop, recharger, then recharger effect, bring out red eyes, red eyes effect, it's gonna bring out tracer, link off in the needle, needle effect, bring out rocket synchron, and you can go into like pisty, move it. Make the Pisty effect, move the Pisty, then Pisty effect, bring out Tracer, turn those in the sword, and then that's game. Uh, moving on to game number three. We're going to see Virtual World go first. Opening hand is Desires, Nib, Chuchi, GG, Kieran. I uh, wonder what Desires will draw. Uh, but like this definitely like works already. And then he has Tracer, Chaos Space, Gamma, Ash, Abs. Okay. So two hand traps, high impact, low impact, and then an amazing hand. Chaos Space discarding this is very free. Activate Desires, Banish 10. Chain Ash Blossom, that was pretty good. Uh, banishes don't really matter there. Normal summon GG and then Kieran effect. It's gonna send Chu Chi and Ching Long, bring itself out. And then Ching Long effect. That's going to add Lulu. Discard, discarding the Lulu. And then Chu Chi up the level, going to M7. M7 effect. Detach GG to add back Lulu. Set. Uh, okay, so. Like, normal GG, Kieran effect, Senchu Chi, Ching Long, Ching Long, Lulu. I guess he just really didn't want to play in the hand traps, like any other hand traps. Uh, so he chose to just like end with like a very safe like Chu Chi Nib pass with like a, a Lulu in hand. I, I, I guess that's fair, not wanting to play in the hand traps. Uh, I, I don't know. Like I, I think VFD is just like, it's just so worth going for. Like if it resolves, it's an FTK. Uh, but like this isn't bad. Pass turn, draw tracer. Then chaos space, so discard abs. 
at White Dragon at Nesh. If you're watching this, how would you have played this game three hand? You know, I'm honestly just going to start asking that. Every virtual world hand, I'm just going to be like, at Nesh, how would you play this? Because he's way better with the deck than I am. He's been playing this deck since, like, he came out. Yeah, pretty much. And then abs, add recharger, banish, special. Because I, I think I would have probably not gone for this. I, got, I think I would have tried to keep comboing and then got hit with Gamma for sure. And then make Striker Dragon. He's going to get to add Boot and then add Black Dragon. Banish White, bring out Black. Chaos Space, put back, get a free draw. Draws Chaos Space. Link into a seal and then black to add white activate boot and then boot effects summon out recharger and tracer from hand turn those into a savage savage effect it's going to chain chuchi to pop put back and then pop savage normal tracer effect pop boot bring out rocket synchron He's going to go into the LP, then Striker Dragon, then LP Effect, Chain Nib, right? I mean, he's done it the last two games. Is it going to happen this game? Yep, Chain Nib. Bring itself out, give him a token, Seal Effect. It's going to bring out Brotar, Brotar Effect, add Levianir. Then he's going to banish lights and darks, bring out levy, levy effect to wipe the board. He knows the last card in hand is a uh, Lulu. Go for your striker. Does he have game? Am I missing something? Because like recharger is obviously a thing here. I don't think he has game like levy can't attack either recharge your effects bring out tracer quad boral effect pop bring out is that just like chaos ruler yeah chaos ruler effect and he's gonna hit something insane here watch oh my gosh yeah uh i mean Uh, like, let's see, you add Lance, if you add Lance, he, uh, no, yeah, you definitely just add Nib, I think, but then they could just go into, like, a Zeus, guess we find out, gonna add back the Nib, yeah, I guess it's, like, way less scary for them to go into, like, Zeus than it is, like, VFD, but, like, VFD without banishing is very hard. You'd have to, like, top deck something nice. I mean, like, a, just a target for this. Hey, top deck's a good card. Bring out Choo Choo. And then activate Lulu effect, Sun Ching Long. And then add Roshi. Like if you Lancia, you know they have Lulu in hand, they top deck something. It's like they're not going to get to VFD through Lancia. With what they have. It's like, mm, like City, Neon. None of those are adding up to VFD in my head unless if I'm messing something up. Like they're close. Uh, yeah, they're close, but they're not it. Maybe I'm messing something up, like I said, but I'm just not seeing it. Like VFD through Lancia. Ching Long, 
Uh, add, discard Nian, summon Roshi. Did he? Uh, yeah, like special banished Chinglong, sent Nian from deck. He just, I'm, I'm, special wrote, like special Lulu, banished Chinglong, add discard Nian, doesn't send with Roshi. But like, could have just like targeted this, send Nian, stay in grief. I like, I don't even know what happened right there to be honest. Like I really don't. So, he messed up on something. If you top decked the virtual world, it was better to have Nib. That's why I doubted. I think it was like okay. So, say he goes with virtual world monster, like normal Nian Lulu effect. Send search. It doesn't matter what they really end on. That's a Zeus. Uh, say they city plus Lulu. It like brings out Chuchi, and then Lulu effect on it. Send Chinglong, add Roshi. Uh, it could like send Nian, bring itself out. But then he has three tuners and a non-tuner. Uh, like for this. I think just like Nib or Lancia were decent. Lancia was just better though, I believe. Make number 75. Someone that has like more time to like analyze over this game, tell me which one, like Nib or Lancia. I'm pretty sure it's Lancia, but I don't want to spend too much time on this. Actually, you know what? Pause. I want to talk about something. So, uh, do you guys want me to like... I think I'm going to try this in a video and just see how it goes. But, like, do less commentating over a match, per se, and more of playing the handout myself. Like, like, let's say I just, like, look at a starting five hand of the person going first. Could I just, like, full combo their hand? Or, you guys, or do you guys want me to just, like, commentate and be like, oh, he messed up? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much down to do either. Uh... Like, some hands I don't think I would do that with. Like, if the opponent opens up, like, City for Virtual World Monsters, like, I would have to, like, actually play that through, and it would, like, take a minute. Because, like, I can't just, like, do it all in my head in, like, one second. I wish, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll try something like that eventually. I'm just going to go into a Shen Shen battle phase, attack the token... Shen Shen effect. But. Put. Return a banished monster. Like. This is just a. Face down card. Like. You definitely can't do that, right? Am I wrong? Like, I could, I could be wrong here. I don't think. I've never done that. I've never seen anyone do that. There's no way. This is monster. It's not a monster when it's banished face down like that. It's just some random card. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like, I want to say he can't do that, but, like, he's doing it in front of, like, 50 watchers right now. He, like, I don't know. Can he do that? I'm, like, pretty certain he can't, but... He just went and did it, so maybe. Can someone comment it down below? Cause I'm I'm honestly not sure. Like I want to say no, but just carrying on. End domain drop nib chain number seventy five. Hey, draws Lancey off of that. Draws Kieran. And then Kieran effect. It's gonna send Chinglong and Nian bring itself out. And then activate Chuchi effect, shuffle back, and that's going to pop the Chaos Ruler. If you really wanted to, you could have like chained Lancia to put that in Grave, but not needed. Is he thinking here? Yeah, pass turn, draw Chaos Space. K 
Chaos Base, Shuffle Back Striker, Draw Ravine, Activate Ravine, Discard Chaos Space, Send Saferd, then Saferd, Add Back Levy, Banish Lights and Darks, Bring Out Levy, Levy Effect. That's going to pop Shenshen in 75. Summon Out White by Banishing Striker. Turn that into Striker Dragon. Use that effect. Add back Recharger. Recharger. Bring out Brotar. Brotar effect. Discard Nib. Add Red Eyes. Banish. Summon. Effect. Uh, bringing out LP. Going to like Romulus. And then LP effect. Bring out Chamber, Chamber Effect, add the Trap, make Pisty, and then Pisty Effect, that's going to bring out Chaos Ruler, and then Sword. Yup. Uh, attack, you know, just attack, 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 attack. That was, uh... That was interesting. That match was holy 65 mi over an hour for like a combo mirror. That that was a good mirror or not mirror, but I meant like combo versus combo. Uh Yeah, definitely some interesting points like the nib versus the lancia I think was like a a big one that he probably should have spent more time thinking about. I'm actually curious. Uh, man, there's a lot of nibs. So at 50, 25. Oh, he did spend a while on it. Dang, he's, he spent a whole minute on it. Yeah, I still think the Lancio is better. Uh, this was the game he ended on M7 instead of, like, going for VFD, but there was Gamma. I think you just gotta, like, I think he's gotta try going for VFD. It's kind of worth it. Uh, I mean, he did have, like, two interruptions, though, like, Chuchi plus Nib, which wasn't bad. Just a, uh, that was a, that was a good match, for sure. Uh, I want to know if Shen Shen can put back Banish Face Down, because, again, 99% sure that you can't, but if this is an interaction that you can do, I want to know about it. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, uh, I like it when there's, like, misplays and stuff in the replays like this, like, potential, like, cheats to where, like, I'm unsure, uh, and I hope that you guys like it, too, because this makes it so way, like, I actually get to learn more. Like, these replays aren't just, like, me commentating over, like, I'm actually learning stuff from it, even though I'm not, like, sitting down and practicing, because, again, like, it's, it's just not a banished monster like it's face down still i don't think you can people need to comment down below either you guys need to say db grinder you're dumb or db grinder you're absolutely right because i think i'm right pretty sure but that's gonna be it the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day